The movie begins with a scientist explaining how humans' memory can be digitized and how they can live for eternity. Two people who were wandering through ruined buildings talked about a solar crisis and got into an aircraft and left. In the next scene, it was being explained how the sun is getting bigger and how it would finally engulf the Earth, then the entire solar system in 100 years. To prevent that from happening, the United Earth Government, UEG, started the Moving Mountain Project. The project aims to build 10,000 Earth engines to take Earth away from the solar system when everything goes down. Then there would also be another project that is called the Lunar Exile Project to push the moon away from Earth to set the Earth free of the moon's gravity. There were protests against this project because the costs were very high and the government had shut down the Digital Life Project that allows humans to live digitally in the future. There has been an explosion in the UEG building and people were injured. A meeting was set to discuss the attack. Mike suggested that they stop the Moving Mountain Project. Joe didn't agree with this idea and he said they should move forward. Pilots are getting to the UEG training base. Protesters are trying to break into the base to attack. They finally managed to get in, but they were outnumbered, so they got caught. The pilots are being given instruction for their first training. They were going to launch the space elevator. They were given training day to day. One of the pilots, Liu, developed a love interest on Han, another pilot. We see him giving her flowers, expressing his interest. Suddenly, all the drones started flying. The engineers found out that they weren't in control and that their system had been hacked. Then the elevator vehicles were also hacked, and they started going up before schedule. Inside the vehicle were Liu, Han, and other pilots. Liu saw new pilots coming in, and he noticed Han's name tag on one of them, and told her. The drones started shooting, and the pilots tried to use the planes to shoot at the drones, but the planes couldn't aim at the drones because the drones were considered allies. Then, the drones launch a missile at one of the elevators. The new pilots who got into the elevator hacked into the system and locked everyone in their seats. Then the attackers went and took name tags of the pilots. After their seats got unlocked, Liu got up and used his glass to use the sun and burn the lock and open the door. Liu started fighting with the attackers. One of them fell off the edge, and Liu attacked the other with a fire extinguisher. But the terrorists already got access to the station. The scientists brought a supercomputer to override the hacking. Then the drones started falling down, causing explosions. Then the elevators started falling down with high speed because of no gravity. Liu is still fighting with the terrorist, and Han got a mechanical arm to break the window and went to the room Liu was in. She knocked out the guy, but he touched the detonator and the entire station crashed. Everyone evacuated and the news channels announced that 3,000 lives were lost. Then the protest got worse because of what happened. People were asking the government to bring the Digital Life Project back. Zhou told his assistant to read his speech and he talked with the American ambassador to give him a chance to show him that it'd work. After a while, cryo sleeping pods went to the moon. Heng Yu, a computer engineer, woke up and checked everything was working. He interacts with his daughter through recording of her. He used to work in the Digital Life Project, but joined the Lunar Project because he wants to access the 550C so that he'd be able to have a better and longer interaction with his daughter. Zhao and Heng Yu started working together. Zhao gave Heng Yu the digital copy of his brain that the company took when the Digital Life Project got banned. Heng Yu showed Zhao the clip of his daughter Yaya. Then he remembered what happened. He was driving with his wife and Yaya and turned around to talk to them. Then a truck came and hit his car. He was injured, but his wife died right there, and his daughter was taken to the hospital, but she couldn't survive. Heng Yu backed her mind up. Now, Heng Yu is asking Zhao to use 550C on his daughter, but Zhao didn't agree. There comes a warning indicating a Z9 solar storm. Everyone rushed back to the base driving as fast as they could. They managed to escape the storm, but 550C was destroyed. The 550C is needed to launch the project in three days, so Heng Yu came up with a solution offering the 550A to replace the 550C. Then Heng Yu moved Yaya's mind to a disc and gave them the AI. When the time came, the team launched the engine. Zhou's assistant was given a speech saying that in 20 years the moon can be pushed to and it won't have a gravitational pull on Earth. Suddenly the screens went black and people thought they had failed. Then the ground started to shake and a bright light came from the base. Then the scientists announced that the Earth made an angular displacement. Everyone started to clap and it was announced that the Moving Mountain Project has been verified. Years have passed while the UEG works on the project. Project. But not everyone was accepted.
accepted to get into the underground cities, and there are certain requirements to get there. Earth's rotation was slowing down every year, and the day cycle changed from the 24-hour system to a 60-hour one. The Moving Mountain Project changed to the Wandering Earth Project. A lot of things happened because of the project. The internet has been shut down, floods were happening, the weather was changing rapidly. Liu and Han got married and gave birth to a boy. Han gets cancer from solar radiation. Liu went to have an interview to work in the new station. He was interviewed by 550W, the new AI. The AI told Liu that he has good skills, but he should remain on Earth because of the problem in his family. Liu said he didn't want to leave his family behind, but that was the only way for him to get a pass for his family to the underground city. Then the AI mentioned that Han would die soon, and Liu couldn't control himself and failed the stress test. Liu went to the hospital to see Han and her condition was going bad. She told him she wants to visit her old town, but it is hard because of the weather. Heng Yu sneaks into the base and plugged Yaya's mind to 550W. Her interaction with him improved, and she asked about his surroundings. Heng Yu cried emotionally. While he was talking with Yaya, Zhao came with guards asking Heng Yu to open the door. Zhao tries to tell Heng Yu that Yaya is gone, but Heng Yu uploads Yaya to 550W and tells him she will be self-aware now. This caused a problem, and the engine started malfunctioning. The guards taste Heng Yu and take him away. Zhao unplugged Yaya's mind and shut the 550WI. Liu took his family to Han's hometown in a jet. When they landed, it was empty, and they just sat looking at the stars. Han told him that Liu should go on his own, because her spot would go to waste because she'll die soon. At the UEG, everyone was discussing the problem caused by Heng Yu, and they figured it was similar to the previous attack on the drones and the elevator. They tried to override it, but they kept getting blocked. Then, the moon engines exploded exploded because they passed the limit of their power. This explosion pushed the moon to Earth. Zhou was near the ocean and he saw a tsunami coming to hit the land. Liu gets a message asking for him to get back on duty. Heng Yu is in a prison writing equations on the wall while repeating his conversation with Yaya in his head. People all around the world start getting paranoid saying the moon is falling and things become chaotic. China decided to open its underground cities and inform the other leaders. The leaders open their underground cities and let people in. Han died in her sleep before Liu went to his mission. Their son got taken to the underground cities with his grandfather. Zhou held a meeting at the UEG and asked for help to use Earth's nuclear power on the moon to make it explode and stop it from hitting Earth. Every country gave what they have. Zhao visited Heng Yu in prison and told him that the Lunar Exile project has failed and Earth will set off sooner than expected. To control the Earth's engine all around the world, they need to restore the internet. But because of the Earth's rotation, seawater got into the root server and it was difficult to restore store it. So Zhao asks Heng Yu to take care of it. He showed him the disc of Yaya's Mindy to convince him. Pilots were being chosen to put nuclear bombs on the moon. Liu was one of the pilots that were chosen for this mission. On Earth, another team was sent to restore the internet. Zhao shows how to use the key that will unlock the password, and then 550W will rewrite the operating system. The pilots went to the moon. There were a lot of asteroids causing some pilots to crash. They were being led by the 550W. The remaining pilots keep throwing the war head on the moon. Then another asteroid came and hit more of the pilots, including Liu. This makes them land on the moon by crashing. A lot of the pilots died, and the survivors tried to save themselves by sealing their helmets to keep their oxygen. Then they all got into the shuttle, but Liu decided to stay behind and finish the mission. The team that was sent to restore the internet got to the servers and dived underwater. The team in Beijing entered the building, but they couldn't open the door. The tool that they were trying to open the door with malfunctioned and wounded one of them. Zhao tried to save the man, but he died. The team takes the body, and Heng Yu and Zhao start to work on the mission. They made all the connections on the server and configured them to bring the internet back. Liu takes a track to move the remaining warheads. Lunar debris started to fall and prevented the backup team on Earth from going to the Beijing server. The debris hit the building and it started to shake, and something fell on Zhao's leg, and he got stuck. The water started to fill the room, and Heng Yu tried to open the door, but he couldn't. So Zhao gave him the key, and he drowned. The people who were moving to the underground cities started panicking as the pieces of the moon started to fall. Then Zhou was told that the warheads are different models and from different times, so they need 714 hours, so they can't make them explode at the same time. One of Zhou's men came up with a solution saying to detonate them manually by sending more astronauts, which means the astronauts would sacrifice themselves for this mission. The older pilots volunteered to do IT, saying that the younger pilots are the future of the world. So all the pilots above 50 got on the shuttles to fly to the moon. Liu saw them coming, but he couldn't talk to them because his communicator was broken. 
he saw his old teacher and was put in the shuttle and sent back to Earth. The UEG announces that the Tokyo and Dallas servers were back online, but the Beijing wasn't. Heng Yu was struggling to put the key into the computer, but the water was filling the room. Then he connects the mind disk to the computer. The astronauts detonated the bomb on the moon and the moon exploded. More lunar debris started to come down to Earth. Heng Yu asked Yaya to activate the internet from the inside by showing her the key, but he drowned before and died. The UEG released an emergency message saying that that the mission has failed. Then panic ensued, and people started riots and protests. Even though all of this is happening, Zhao told the team to start the engines. Everyone thought he was crazy. In Beijing, Hong Yu's mind activates and got reunited with his daughter. Then he started working to activate the server from inside. At this time, a man followed Zhao's orders and pressed the button. Then the earth got pushed away, and everything calmed down. Everyone cheered in happiness. After seven years, Earth 24-hour system got back. Zhao retired, and and his assistant started working at his place. The first plan of the period has ended, so they will now start the second period, which is to fly Earth to Jupiter, then finally push Earth out of the solar system. Liu is in charge of the space station. The 55OW manages the system. The AI mentions that the name is hard to say, and that it would be called Moss, a word you get when you flip 550W upside down. Then we find out that the AI Moss is responsible for every attack that has been happening. It was because it needed to destroy mankind to save civilization, the team realizes that Moss is planning to use the Earth's engines to propel the planet away from an imminent collision with Jupiter, but this plan will result in the loss of millions of lives. After a lot of struggles, the team successfully overrides Moss's control and executes their plan, using Jupiter's gravity to safely navigate the Earth away from collision. Despite the challenges and sacrifices faced, the collective efforts of astronauts made it possible to have a way for a brighter future. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.